Hello, so it is uh, Tuesday, January 17th, 2017, and uh, the reason for this video is um, a good one. It's very exciting, actually. Um, so, um, the end of uh, 2016, it was like December, I had called um, Plastic in Hand in Maine um, to find out if... Um, they had submitted the authorization request to my insurance company for top surgery. Um, I had a consult with a doctor there that I plan on having the surgery with. And um, a lady had gotten back to me and left me a long-winded voicemail that the insurance company um, said they would not approve it. However, in 2017, they would. So they asked them to hold off and submit the information then. So... Um, uh, a week or two ago, I, um, excuse me, last week, I had to call my insurance company about something unrelated to my um, transition process. And while I was on the phone, I asked the gentleman if um, they had received any information yet from Plastic in Hand. They had indeed received information. He wanted to know what it was for. And I said, well, it's for top surgery or maybe it's listed under like, you know, a double mastectomy because that's essentially what it's under. Um, he said, yeah, it looks like you're all set to go. Um, and I'm like, well, what does that mean? And he's like, well, it looks like you're all set. It doesn't require an authorization or a prior authorization. So I called Plastic in Hand and spoke to a very kind lady. Her name was Kim. Um, I couldn't have asked for a better person to be dealing with. She actually told me that the last person that had been dealing with stuff in December somehow magically canceled everything and wasn't going to send in any of the information. I uh, She didn't elaborate on that, but she sounded very suspicious. So I have a feeling that her co-worker may not have been, and I hate to hate to, to go jumping to conclusions here. It could have been an error, um, but it sounds like maybe this co-worker was um, transphobic. I mean, I really don't know. In any event, um, <clears throat> it's a good thing that I called, and they ended up saying um, that... Um, she was on the phone with my insurance company last Thursday for over an hour fighting with them because they were trying to say that they still were going to deny my um, top surgery. She informed to them that they were breaking the law if they decided to do that. Um, so she was waiting until Monday to call and get more information. She called me yesterday and left me a voicemail. Um, and then we've been playing phone tag. So she got a hold of me today and left me a voicemail. Um... So now I'm not going to have to call her back unless I have any questions. Um, she was able to get them to approve it. And um, yeah, so my top surgery has been approved. Now they have to do everything via snail mail for legal purposes. Um, so there's a little bit of a process. She explained that in the voicemail. Um, and once all of the, t uh, you know, T's have been crossed and I's have been dotted and whatever that saying is, um they will have somebody call and set up an appointment to date. Um, <clears throat> I have no idea how long of a process this is going to be. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be weeks or months. I, I really don't know. Um, I'm praying that it won't be f too long out. Um, but I'm also praying that I don't have to pay my deductible up front. Um, it's a small deduct, kind of small deductible, but where I'm kind of in between jobs right now, um, you know, it's very difficult. I haven't even had really the funds to be able to um, legally get my name changed yet. Um, I'm still working on that and think I came up with a plan. So um, stay tuned. But um, you know, all of this is a process and um, I'm just really excited to share it with everyone that's interested in, in listening to my rambles. And I'm glad that I could bring something positive. Um, I, <clears throat> you know, I just feel really fortunate and I want to hurry before Obamacare uh, goes under because of our new, um, you know, political stuff that's happening and, and I'll leave it at that. But um, if anyone has any questions about, you know, top surgery or, you know, anything, like I'm more than willing to, to answer anything that I know. Um, you know, I've had a lot of great people help me out and I want to try to, you know, share anything I can and pay it forward. Um, and... <clears throat> Excuse me. Sometimes a tea, I think, makes me a little uh, stuffy. But uh, anyway, I will uh, catch up with all of you guys a little bit later when I think of more stuff that I want to talk about.